Hello guys. So welcome to our uh, cloud computing video series. So in this uh, video we will first uh, discuss about the chapters you can see in this screens also. So the cloud computing you can see the subject code and also the our total four chapters the like the definitions of cloud computing and its basics the use of the platform in the cloud computing and the cloud infrastructure the concept of the services and applications so total four chapters but the chapters are uh, lots of content okay so this is the first video in this video we are breaking down the basics of the cloud computing like the first chapter part one and examining why it's such a revolutionary shift in the technology we will start with an overview of the cloud computing understand what it means and uh, why it is considered a paradigm shift then we will explore the different cloud types including the nist and the cloud cube models and finally dive into the four main deployment models public private hybrid and community so let's get started so the cloud computing overview the definition and the paradigm shift Cloud computing is a model for delivering the computing services over the internet. It including the storage, the processing power and software applications and totally in online, in the internet, in the web. Unlike the traditional IT setups where users need to own and maintain the physical hardware or the software, cloud computing allows them to access these resources remotely on a pay-as-you-go basis. This shift is often called as a paradigm shift because it changes the fundamental way we approach the IT or the information technology. So transforming it from a capital intensive setup to a flexible operational expense. Cloud computing not only reduces the cost but offers a scalability, enabling the businesses to expand or reduce the resources according to demand revolutionizing how we think about the IT infrastructure. So now the NIST model. The National Institute of Standards and Technology or the NIST has defined the cloud computing based on the five essential characteristics like the on-demand services, the broad network access, the resource pooling and the rapid elasticity and the measured diva service. This model provides a structured understanding of what cloud computing entails offering a foundation for both the users and the providers. By defining these features, NIST model sets a clear standard for the cloud service, helping to ensure the consistency, the reliability and the interoperability in the cloud computing. So now the Cloud Cube model. The Cloud Cube model developed by the Jericho Forum categorizes the clouds based on the four dimension internal, external, proprietary, open, perimeterized, deperimeterized, and the insourced, outsourced. This model helps organizations to determine the best cloud setup based on their unique security privacy and the operational requirements. For example, internal proprietary represent a private in-house cloud while the external open would describe a public cloud, public cloud operated by a third party. Okay, so the cloud cube model thus helps to better align the cloud architecture within an organization's need. So now the deployment models, public, private, hybrid, community. Cloud computing offers four main deployment models to cater to different use cases. Public, private, hybrid and community cloud. A public cloud is available to any user over the internet with resources managed by a third party provider like the AWS or the Google Cloud. In contrast, a private cloud is exclusively dedicated to one organization, providing the enhanced control and security, often hosted on premises. Hybrid cloud combine the both the public and the private cloud, offering the flexibility for the businesses to keep the sensitive data in the private environment while taking advantage to the scalability of the public cloud. Finally, the community cloud. 
serve a group of organizations with similar requirement like the government agencies allowing them to share the resource securely each model addresses the different needs from cost saving to data control and security so at the end of the video thanks for watching in this video we have laid the ground work by covering the definition of the cloud computing its paradigm shift and explored the various cloud types including the including the nist and the cloud cube model as well as the main deployment model understanding these basics will set up for our upcoming videos where we will go deeper into the cloud service model like IAS, PAS, SAS. If you found uh, this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell for a more cloud insight. See you in the next video, like the part two of the chapter one. Okay.